Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel's filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So today I thought I would make a different kind of video showing you all the different types of volleyball serves. And in this video, I'm gonna highlight some serves that are really popular throughout the junior level, the high school level, and the collegiate level. So that way you can get a better idea of exactly what you need to practice on and what these different types of serves look like. I'm also going to tell you how effective they are and how often you should be practicing these serves. With that, let's get right into it. Now first, let's do the overhand serve. And this is arguably the most popular. Now with the overhand serve, a lot of you guys are working on that, but there are some different types of overhand serves. There's a standing overhand, standing float, and standing top spin. So there's not just one general overhand serve. It's also too important to remember that the overhand serve is the standard serve in many standard volleyball games. So a lot of you guys, if you're doing the underhand, I suggest you start moving towards the overhand because you can't really do underhand when you get to a certain level. Also, I also want you to note that many players start working on their overhand serve almost immediately after learning how to play. That's because sometimes it can take a while and I want you to be able to have enough time to go ahead and perfect it. And some of the common struggles with the overhand is to not get it all the way over the net. I know that's frustrating. However, there's a way to fix it with proper form. That means that bow, that arrow, making sure you have the form to be able to serve over the net. Also, if you wanna play volleyball, I suggest you start working on it immediately as soon as you know you want to play. I do not count the underhand serve as a serve because it's more for recreational purposes. However, some teams allow you to do underhand serve, but please don't bet on that information. If you can learn your overhand, work on your overhand because sometimes it takes some time to get it. Either there's players who can't get it over or players who serve too hard, but work at that. So I have a great tutorial on my channel about the overhand serve as well as the standing float. So I'm going to tag those in the description below. So go ahead and check those out if you want to start working on your overhand serve. Now here's something I get comments on a lot, which is the jump serve. The jump serve is very popular in men's volleyball and at the collegiate level. But here are some things about the jump serve you might not know. Sometimes the jump serve can be unpredictable. It's one of those serves that you really have to practice as it really mocks a back row attack. It's really cool looking and it's kind of hard to receive. However, there's a serve that is harder to receive. Unless you practice this, there's a high trajectory it's going out. Please practice this serve if you're considering doing this. This is an advanced serve. You need to know all your other serves before this. All right, you all, now here's my favorite serve, which is the jump float. This is the most popular that I've seen in the last couple of years. The jump float has really easy steps. It kind of mocks a standing serve with some additional steps. However, it is very hard to receive the jump float. That's because it comes kind of straight over the net. And if you're receiving the ball and serve receive, sometimes that ball can arguably move in the air. I'm not joking, it can move in the air. Now, if you overpower the serve, it's gonna coast right out of bounds. So make sure if you're learning how to do your jump float or your standing float, you understand the depth of the court so you're not just hitting the ball straight towards the wall like I did when I first started playing. This is my favorite serve because it's easy, effective, and powerful in a game, and it's hard to read. That is what we want. We want something that is hard to read. Once you've learned your overhand serve, your, your float, your top spin, then start working on your jump float because it is going to take you a long way, especially when you start playing at those higher level volleyball teams and higher level volleyball games. And it's something that you can put in your pocket. What kind of serve do you like to do? Put that in the comments below. Also, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with somebody who needs it. And I will see you guys next time.